The federal government says it will continue to do everything possible to curtail the persistent food inflation. Minister of Agriculture and Rural Development, Mohammed Abubakar, stated this in Abuja during a press briefing to mark the 2022 World Food Day celebration scheduled to hold on 16th October. Our correspondent, Chukwemeka Okonji, completes the story. As Nigeria joins the world in commemorating the 2022 World Food Day with the theme, Leaving No One Behind, a low agro production and hike in food prices underline the hurdles facing the agricultural sector. More worrisome is the World Food Program estimate that between 2015 to 2022, people in need of emergency food assistance has quadrupled from seven to 27 million. We know that yes, we have some issues of insecurity. Production has dropped. I, I said the last time I made a press conference, I said not significantly enough that we say we have shortage of food. We don't have shortage of food in Nigeria at this point. And we want to make sure there is no shortage. But yes, prices have risen. Unfortunately, you just realize that two countries can cause destabilization uh, in the world, Russia and Ukraine, because they are major players in wheat major players in, in uh, fertilizer. So Nigeria is doing everything humanly possible to make sure that the 27 million that were expected to go hungry will not go hungry. Concerned by the post-harvest losses and food inflation, relevant stakeholders are calling for more government intervention. There must be a deliberate effort to ensure that the essential, the small-scale farmers in low-income countries are supported to have more access to funding, infrastructure, inputs and markets, and that their land rights are protected. Fighting hunger and malnutrition is a daunting task, and I therefore appeal for concerted action from all stakeholders, government, international and national research systems, farmers, civil society organizations, the private sector, with the 2022 budget allocation for agriculture standing at 1.7%, the need for stakeholders to influence an increase to at least 10%, as believed, would be a sound call to transform the agro-food 